Hi and welcome to this tutorial. This is an image given to us by a customer. Uh, he had problems with the interreflection and the complicated work around the legs of the furniture and the hair. Uh, the other issue was that to begin with Fluid Mask didn't automatically find all the edges and you can see here with this shoulder with a lot of interreflection from the background and um, we haven't got the edge. And the reason for that was that Fluid Mask didn't automatically set the correct number of pixels and sometimes it just needs small adjustments in this case it needed a one pixel adjustment from three to two pixels um, and that got the shoulder just right even though it's quite a hard to see image so now we can mask the background I'm reducing the brush size and just picking off these um, objects in the background which isolate out the foreground and really I'm just picking on the areas a bit like colouring by numbers Okay, we're nearly done it. We're just doing these fiddly bits between the legs right now. That's his legs and the legs of the table and chair. And we're very close to making our first pass for the background. Okay. And you can see here we've largely got it. Some problems around the top of the head. Some problems with the t-shirt with the white on white. Um, and his laces also seem to have not been cut out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create um, patches in the problem areas. So we use um, R for rectangle patch and we just go around in all the areas where we immediately saw there were problems we just put in some patches. This is a very good workflow because it means you can come immediately back to all those areas where you thought you had a problem. So that's it. Um, so we'll firstly double click on the patch and that squares it up to the center of the um, of the screen and now what we need to do is increase the blend mask around here and uh, to get that hair better decontaminated from the background so we're going to do our first pass uh, right click and press create cutter and there we are we've got our first pass it just needs a couple of adjustments in there a little bit less mask um, blend mask that is um, in the hair so the highlights are not confused with the background do that again and they're, they're all gone so that's all fine with the hair so now you press you press Z for zoom you press fit to screen double click again on the next um, patch and go into the detail here now of that t-shirt where it seems to have um, blended with the background so we're going to go and um, make our um, automatic edge width um, of the blend mask thin so that um, we don't get too much um, flooding of the blend mask and you can see here that looks very good and now we're just going to move down to um, the bottom of the t-shirt with another problem, exactly the same kind of problem and again the automatic um, blend edge width is on thin. Right click for preview and cut out and that looks great. So we've done a white t-shirt on a virtually white background, got rid of that. F press Z again, fit to screen, double click on the next patch to make it full screen and here we've got a little bit of the a corner of the stool which is, um, hasn't been masked out. Now the reason why we've got to do detail like this is because the eye, as you probably notice, um, picks up on anomalies very quickly 
and so you've got to make sure that the details are pretty accurate so that's quickly done right click creating the cutout and there we go that's pretty much it Z fit screen click on the next patch down by the laces and again these will need to be cut out this is the beauty of the patch you could just do a mini cutout inside the patch and you could do as many passes of, of it as you want to get the best results so we're going to do a pass here now just when we've tidied this bit up here we go right click preview screen so there's a little a couple of areas that need tidying up right click okay there we go it's getting better and just a couple more areas now now I'm going to put the uh, automatic edge width onto none it's because certain parts of the um, of the blend are showing too much of the of the background coming through so we're going to have to force the mask in as a de as a delete mask and just see that occurring here now There we go. So there's a there's the laces done. One more time. Go back to the the last of the um, of the patches, and this time do exactly the same as before. Then we might try a a, a local brush instead of a um, exact brush. This will need some adjustments to the blend mask on the on the laces. There we go. Okay, it's just a little piece of uh, blend mask that's um, got caught. Zoom, fit to screen, press create cutout, and you can see that we've largely got it, but there's a couple of areas just under the foot there and by the edge of the stool so we just go down there now you don't always have to use patches um, you can just go straight in and and make some adjustments without using patches we'll go over here to the edge of the um, stool and again quickly just tidy that up create cutout and that's it. Two takeaways from this. The first is make sure that you get the in focus edge width just right and the second one is um, use patches to um, highlight those difficult areas and then very quickly go from each area to each area tidying it up. It's a very quick workflow and pays huge dividends in terms of speed and quality. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other tutorials and don't forget to visit our website to find out about daily live training. Thanks. Bye.